Before we look at the results in the results directory, we're going to open up another AFNI viewer so that we can compare things both before and after we've done each pre-processing step. So to do this, we're going to open up actually another AFNI viewer. And to save window space, I'm going to only leave this axial or coronal section up and also leave this time series graph up. Now down here, I believe the most recent versions of AFNI make AFNI start up so that you can still do stuff in the command line. Okay. If not, just type control Z and then type BG once you get the command line back and press enter. So that will just free up both AFNI in the background and also allow you to do stuff on the command line. But it seems like that's all okay right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to ft.results. Remember two dots is one directory up, then ft.results. And now that I'm in here, notice the nomenclature of each of these results data sets. So PB stands for processing block. And then we have run one, run two, run three. And this dot tcat dot t shift, that represents a different step in the pre-processing pipeline. So here we had a concatenating step where we removed a couple TRs. Here was a time shifting step, the volume registration step, the blurring step, and so on until the end. All right. So now that I'm in that directory, I'm going to open up AFNI with an ampersand, which will just free up everything in the background as well. And now we have another terminal, which I want to put down here. And just to save window space, because it's very precious, I'm going to move this down here. Also open up graph and set the underlay to pb00r01.tcat. Double click on that. And I'm also going to jump to this XYZ of 19.3, 78, and negative 5.7. To demonstrate this before and after, notice that in this time series below, right here, we don't have those first two TRs. So we don't have any pretty steady state activity, which is much higher than everything else in the time course. We'll be using this layout for the rest, or for most of the rest of the steps of the tutorial.